Hey loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Natalie Michelle and I am Styles by Natalie Michelle on Instagram. Today's video is going to be a little switch up from the normal makeup tutorial videos and we're actually going to be doing a review and a try on for Boohoo. So I recently got some stuff from the popular clothing brand called Boohoo. And I'm gonna be taking you through some of the things that I got and um, how much I paid for them. I'll be showing you what they look like on a mid-sized body such as myself. So if you have um, more of a mid-sized body, um, curves and that kind of thing, and you're not sure how this clothing brand fits on you, um, then continue to watch because I will be doing all the try-ons for you. I'll be giving you all the information I can possibly give on this brand, my thoughts, and just an honest review. So I will be doing that. And also if you're a Canadian girl, such as myself, I'll be giving you um, information on how shipping went, if there was duty duties, um, and just overall uh, pricing and information regarding um, shipping to Canada. So if you guys wanna continue to watch for that, um, please do make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified on all my future videos. Leave comments below and hit the like button on this video. All right, let's get into today's video. Okay, so one thing I wanted to do just before, um, I know you guys are here wanting to watch Boohoo, but just before I get into today's video, I wanted to quickly talk about Insert Made Here, which is a brand of hair that I am wearing today. So I just realized um, I finally have this hair piece in. I was gonna do a review a while back just on the brand itself, but I figured the video wouldn't be that long. So I will just quickly incorporate it into here. So today I am wearing the Brit Ponytail um, from insert name here, and I'm wearing the color Champagne Blonde. So it is a 26 inch, you guys can see how long it goes, um, ponytail. And I got it in a bundle with another ponytail. So it comes like this. It comes with a little uh, purple satin bag so you can keep your hair looking um, nice and um, keep it cared for in the bag. Um, and then the other piece that I got, so this one's called the Mila and it comes like this and then it comes in this little mesh thing. So I just throw away the plastic thing and then I keep it in its mesh and then I keep it safe in its little purple satin bag. Um, and then it also comes with bobby pins. So the one that I'm wearing is curly, as you can see. And then this one is straight. So it'll look straight like this. It also has like a bit of like crimping not sure if you guys can see that. It has like some crimp detail in it. Um, I read that you could straighten this out, um, but you would lose the texture and possibly the volume um, of this hair, but it feels really nice. Um, it's super lightweight. I believe this one is 24 inches. Um, what do I call it? The Mia? The Mila. It's called Mia, I believe. Mia. And it's 24 inches and I believe it's 110 grams. This one definitely does feel a bit lighter. And then this one is curly, uh, 26 inches, and it's 175 grams. Um, this one comes in 24 different shades. Um, this one is the Champagne Blonde as well. Um, and I believe this one only comes in nine shades. Um, they, Like I said, they are both heat resistant up to 310 degrees. Um, I have not tried straightening or curling either one of these. I specifically bought this one to be curly, so no need to curl it. And I specifically bought this one to be straight, so no need to straighten. So um, I suppose use your heat at your own risk is how I see that. Um, and yeah, they come with the cute little pouches. They come with bobby pins, as you can see. Um, and then you just stick this right into your ponytail and then you wrap the hair piece around your ponytail and use the bobby pins to secure. So 
insert name here if you guys have ever wanted to know how the hair is i do recommend it i like the ponytails um, they don't feel heavy my head doesn't feel weighted down and um they just give me that that look when i just need to be you know out the door ready to go and throw your hair up in a ponytail and your hair is done all right one more thing i wanted to add is that i got these in a bundle so i got them together so this one and this one together um, I believe in Canadian dollars, they're $66 each, um, but I got them in a bundle on a hair promotion for $104. So the two ponytails together I bought for $104. And then of course there was taxes and I believe I paid duties, but it was a while ago, so I can't really remember. And I don't think it was that much. Otherwise I would have remembered it. Um, yeah, so... If you guys have any more questions about the insert name hair, please leave comments below and I will be more than happy to answer that for you. Okay, let's get into doing our Boohoo review and try on. So the first item that I have for you guys is the, this is called, I just have my um, phone here so that I have the actual name of the item. So if you guys wanted to go on to Boohoo and purchase it yourself, then you'll know exactly what the name is. So this is called the Casual High Waist Cuff Hem Joggers. And these joggers I bought in the color gray in a size large. And they're super cute, super soft. Um, super stretchy and I like the little cuff at the bottom and they're a little bit oversized. The only thing I would say about them is I thought that they would be a little bit thicker in the material or like kind of like what they look like on the outside. They would also look like on the inside, um, you know, just that like basic sweatpant material but it's almost like an unfinished inside if that makes sense um and it just makes them really really thin i guess not really thin but they're just not the thickness that i thought they would be i suppose that's good for um you know if i want to wear these in the summertime but i was actually looking for them to more be like cozy in the fall time and um they still will be, but I kind of just wanted the material to be like the inside of the pocket, also like on the inside, if that makes sense. So I still like them and they're still super comfortable. And yeah, they were a good buy, size large. And I bought them for $24. The next item I'm going to show you guys is the basic jersey biker short and this one is a black basic jersey sh uh, bike short. I bought a size 10 color black and the Canadian price I paid for them is $10.80. Um, if you are UK, you'd be a UK 14 in these. Um, in terms of quality, they're definitely sheer, which I kind of expected. I intend to wear these um, with a longer t-shirt or like a long hoodie, like think Kim Kardashian, kind of a long baggy hoodie with bike shorts. That's kind of how I was planning to wear this anyways. So I figured it would be um, fairly thin, just gathered that through the price. Um, if something is pretty inexpensive, it's usually going to be thinner um, material. So um, they are super, super stretchy. They're super comfortable. I like the length um, on them and they're an overall great biker short. The next item I got is called the, the Woven Volume Sleeve Ruched Off the Shoulder Top. And I am just living for this red color. The size is size 10 in the US sizing UK 14. 
and um, the price I paid for this guy was $21.20 in Canadian dollars. Um, it has a super stretchy band at the top. It has a super stretchy band at the bottom. Um, it is your typical woven fabric. Um, so no stretch like actually in the fabric. Um, and honestly, I love this top. The sleeves have little elastics um, sort of around the upper arm part as well as at the um, wrist. And I like the way this is built where it's meant to be off shoulder and when it's just attached here at the sides, then you know it's gonna stay up. If it's attached up here, then sometimes they like slide or, you know, they just don't stay on the shoulders properly. Whereas like if they're attached like this, they just stay where they're supposed to stay. Um, and nothing like drags it down or pulls it up. So I really like that about the top and it is super, super comfortable and it fits great. No complaints for this top. The next item I have is again, another biker short. Um, this one is called the basic Jersey biker short. Um, it's basically the same name as the black one and the black one was called the baser basic Jersey biker short. And then this one's also called the basic Jersey biker short. Um, and it feels and looks pretty much the same as the black one. So I got it in a size 10. The color is called charcoal and they were also $10 and 80 cents as well. Um, in terms of quality, I would say they're similar quality to the black ones. Um, they're not almost not as see-through, like I couldn't see my hand through this one, whereas I could see it through the black one. Um, but they definitely, probably if I was to bend over, you could probably see a little something. So I would definitely continue to wear these with something long, a long hoodie, um, and just not risk it with these types of things. And then I wanted to go into the next item because these did not work for me at all. And they are also called the basic Jersey biker short, but the only thing that I could have gone wrong is just because the price is different. So these ones were actually $8 and 80 cents. And they look like this. So looking at them now, you probably couldn't tell online that they would be any different from the other two biker shorts I just showed you, but they are, they are very different. You can see the length is different in them. And this, this waist here, this band is not stretchy. Like it's not stretchy at all. Um, I'll just compare it to the last short I just showed you. So this one, super stretchy. This one, not at all. So I'll just show you guys. Like I could not get these up my, my legs at all. So you can see there's about an inch of fabric more on the gray pair than on, or sorry, the, I guess I should say the dark gray pair than on the, the light gray pair. So um, that's a telltale sign that they were not going to fit. And then the fact that they were just not stretchy um, was another telltale, sign, telltale sign that they were not going to fit. So um, yeah, I'll be giving these to one of my little sister-in-laws that might be able to fit this because they are not fitting me. Okay, and then I have another top to show you guys. And this one is called the Polka Dot Sheared Square Neck Crop Top. I got this one in the color black, obviously, and the size, um, Canadian size or US size 10, uh, UK size 14, and I bought this for $24. And I am obsessed with how cute this is. I just love this top. It's super, super comfortable. And I felt very confident buying it um, and in the size that I bought it in because when you buy this um, type of ruched material, it is so stretchy that, you know, if I bought an eight in this, it would have fit. If I bought a 12, it probably would have been too big. Um, but I, I went with my size, size 10, and it just fits perfectly. 
and the sleeves are super stretchy. Um, they have a polka dot, um, we call this like a Swiss dot type of um, design within the, the within the mesh sleeves. I love the bell sleeve on it um, at the end and these little elastics um, up by the arm and the wrist are just super, super cute. So a totally cute top. I cannot wait to wear this. Um, the pair of high-waisted jeans going out with the girls whenever that happens. And it is just the perfect top. Besides the one pair of shorts that didn't work out, all around everything else worked out really, really great and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, it took about two weeks to arrive, so I think I ordered it like August 6th and I believe I got it on the 19th. And then um, in terms of duties, if you're a Canadian, there was no duties on it. I didn't have to pay, it just ended up in my mailbox. But um, when you do check out, you'll pay $15.99 for shipping. Um, which does kind of suck, but at the same time, at least you know you've paid a flat rate. Um, no matter how big your order is or how much your order is worth, you've already paid that flat rate and you know that there's not going to be any duties because Boohoo does claim to not have duties. And you'll see that um, in your shopping cart, it will say up at the top, no duties. Um, so that's kind of nice um, so that you're not surprised with duties when your package arrives and it's like oh you you have to pay eighty dollars in duties and you're like well shit what else did i want to add to here um oh that's right i ordered one more blouse from boohoo and when they sent me a confirmation that um, they were shipping my items they kind of gave me like an oops email and they were like unfortunately we don't have one of your items that you ordered in stock at this time there was a mistake um and that will be you know, reversing that payment and putting that back on your card right away. And they really did. They, as soon as they sent the email, I checked my credit card and it was already um, refunded and back on my card. So they did that really, really quickly, which I appreciated. Although I was bummed that I wasn't gonna get that one item um, and that it wasn't being shipped. The fact that they um, resolved that so quickly, um, I think that was a good sign for the company. All right, you guys, so that's all I have for you today. I know that was a little bit short, sweet and simple, but I hope you guys learned something. I hope that um, the information I gave you today was helpful if you're wanting to shop on Boohoo or even insert name here, if you guys are looking for a new hair piece and you have seen the company around and you wanted to decide if it was something that you should invest in, definitely I recommend both Boohoo and um, insert name here. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything that I showed you today, please leave comments down below. I do love reading your comments. Also, if you guys are interested in my makeup look today and you wanna see how I created this, I do have an IGTV on my Instagram, styles by Natalie Michelle. Um, and you guys can check out the products that I used and what I did to achieve this look. So make sure you go check that out there. Um, once again, please subscribe. Um, please hit the bell button so you can get notified on all my future videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.